What's up everybody? This is Jay from Jay's Guide to Life and Open Sea Films and today we're talking about masks. We're talking about how to use them, how to wear them, how to take them off, how to eat with them, what not to do, what to do. Be tuned to the end of this video for some other helpful hints about masks. Let's get right into it. As you know, masks are becoming the new normal. I don't know what normal means or what new normal means, but it sounds like masks and standing six feet apart will be included in that definition. Whether you're shopping or hanging at the park, not selling anything, just hanging, not selling anything. I mean, just hanging out by yourself, like I am right now by this tree. Social distancing with your friend in a driveway. Masks are almost definitely gonna be on our faces. Uh, to protect our friends and loved ones and frankly protect each other from each other does that sound right see these masks aren't going to keep us from getting covid19 the masks are designed to keep us from giving covid19 to other people so this this video is about masks wearing masks if, if you're one of those people that don't want to wear a mask well you know i'm fine with your choice uh and your right to do so but uh, just do me a favor and maybe stay like 18 to 25 feet from me just in case i got kids if you're ready to get your mask on yeah that was designed to sound like get your groove on get your dance moves on get your party on wayne you get the idea anyway if you're ready to get going on jay's guide to masks Let's jump right into this. When should we have our mask on? Well, when you're sick, for starters. Mostly when you're in stores and when you can't be six or more feet from somebody. It's that simple. If you work inside a building, you probably want to wear that. If you're around other people, not. If you're like in an office, say, hey, take it off, breathe a little bit. You ready to keep this train rolling? Things are about to get real crazy around here. Step one's always going to be wash your hands or sanitize if you don't have access to a sink with running hot water. You're gonna wanna do that for at least 20 seconds and you can achieve that by singing happy birthday twice. seconds is a long time and it's I'm sure I'm sure it's probably boring step two is remove your mask from the box or the bag that you are storing that in and remember not to touch the main part of the mask you want to grab it by the strings or ties And then take a quick look at the mask and make sure there's no holes or tears in it as it will definitely diminish its efficiency. Step three is to locate the top of the mask just before you put it on where this bendable strip is. You want to find the part of the mask that's slightly rigid that can bend to the contours of the bridge of your nose. Step four. Next, find the front of the mask. So, where were we? Now that you know where the top and the front of the mask is, you want to hold the mask by the ear loops and place each loop around each ear. For those of you that have more than two ears, I, if you happen to see any hair in, in places that are not normal, uh, just understand that at 40 years old, like I am, hair stops growing in places where it's supposed to be and starts growing in others where it doesn't necessarily belong. You, you're just all gonna have to deal with that. <laughs> so don't judge me. 
Now, if the mask does not have bands, which is something you may face, it has could be a tie mask, not a tie fighter mask like this one, but a mask with strings on the sides. It is a very similar process, but you want to grab the mask by the strings, bring the mask to your nose, and place the ties around the crown of your head. That's this spot right here. Tie the strings in a bow, then tie the other set of strings around the nape of the neck. Then, like before, you want to pinch the bendable top around the nose and pull the mask down completely around your chin. The mask should cover all of the nose, mouth, and chin to be as effective as possible. All right, let's jump right into taking a mask off. Step one, again, always, 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 always wash your hands. How long are you going to wash your hands? I'll wait. How long? Are you going to answer me? I feel so close to you that I was able to ask that question and expect an answer. I forgot this was a video. 20 seconds. What you don't want to do is touch the front of the mask. You want to take the mask off the same way you put it on by taking hold of the ear loop or ear ties. You want to take the mask by those. What you want to do is take hold of the ear loops, gently take them off your ears and pull the mask. So what you want to do is take the mask by the ear loops, remove it from your ears and gently pull the mask away. And then immediately wash and sanitize your hands again. Yeah, so that's putting on and taking off masks. Are we good so far? Are you ready to keep this party moving? I love you to tell you there's many, many ways to wear these things, but there isn't. There's one way, one way, oh, to wear it. And it's gonna be all of And there's a way to do something. There's a way not to do something. And there are so, oh, oh, many ways you should not wear a mask. Wearing a mask takes some getting used to. If it feels like it's suffocating you, more than likely you're wearing it right. Wearing a mask is new, not your common Monday morning wardrobe choice, I'm sure. first instinct is usually to rub your hands on it, adjust it, move it all around, scratch your face. This is bad. You might as well pack a hospital bag and get ready to lay on the couch for a long time. Here's a general list of how not to wear your mask. Share your pictures and or videos if you want to in the comments below of your favorite ways not to wear your mask if you feel like, uh, you know, having a little fun with us. Can't wait to go out to eat or buy food and eat in general. And whether you want to go out or eat at home, you can't wear a mask if your intention is shoveling yummy food in your face. Moving and replacing your mask between bites is most likely the fastest and most effective way to get yourself and other people around you sick. So the best way to deal with eating food is remove your mask probably want to eat alone or from you know six feet or more from somebody else place it on a clean sanitized surface or in a brown paper bag from home and then shovel the yummy tasty food in your face and you may want to sanitize your seats 
tables, utensils, and cups if you're out to eat. Don't forget to sanitize your cups. Sanitize your cups. There's another solution eating, leaving your mask on completely. Okay, all right, so that one's not, that one's not great, not very accurate, kind of a little joke, little PSA, a PSA if you will, public service announcement. This behavior will probably be frowned upon. If you find yourself needing a mask and disposable masks are hard to find, there are fairly inexpensive, many, many, many ways to make your own mask at home using things you've already got around your house. Here's one simple way I'm gonna show you. Um, and I'll demonstrate how to do it on this rectangular piece of paper here. Whoops, that's embarrassing. Uh, looks like I just made a little well, snowflake. Well, anyways, you can make a fairly simple mask with multiple household materials without spending a dime. Uh, you can find tons and tons of ways of making a, a mask on YouTube. One of the coolest ones I saw was just cutting up a sock. That's pretty awesome. Uh, I would use a clean sock though because... Well, there it is, Jay's Guide to Masks. If you like this video, please hit the like button, the little thumbs up. If you love it, please subscribe to the channel for more and hit the notification bell so you can see every single time we upload a new video. If you really feel like you just can't live without my face once a week learning a new life lesson, you can impatiently wait. And while you're doing that, just share this video around all your social networks, Twitters, Facebooks, MySpace pages, and make ourselves better than we were yesterday and better tomorrow than we are today. Every little bit helps support this channel and helps me be able to make more videos each week. New normal, it's gonna be hot. Look out for one another. We're all we got in this world. See you at the next social distance party, mixer, dance. Are those the same thing? Social distance movie. <laughs> all right, beep beep, that's enough. And thanks for spending time with me learning about masks.